found a Yenfi. Uh, as a matter of fact, we did. Oh, you got it! Yes, yeah, so um, <laughs> I did some grinding in various uh, areas, um, and one of the things I did was I did play one more round of Flower Journey to get enough for the Venom Ribbon. Awesome! But first, let's return the blackest paint. The blackest paint. Ah, so that's the blackest, darkest paint. Yes, I can feel it. It's like I'm staring at a deep abyss. Hope it's worth the day. Jewel jewelry is for denizens of the light. I have no need of it, after having seen such darkness. Ah, oh, crystal berry, cool. Seems like a fair trade. The brightest object for the darkest one. <laughs> Soon, Jean's art, uh, Jean, Jean's art reign will be over and Artia's will begin. I don't know why Jean is so hard for me to say. Maybe it's so close to my own name. Fair enough. That I always Fair just want to say John. Yeah, no, I get that, I get that. Yeah, I doubt that. I'm just glad we didn't end up in trouble for this. <laughs> so, welcome back. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to... How do you say it again? Hang on a sec. Welcome back to Baiki o Robakak. Ooh. Uh, that, that... Is, that is Polish. Okay, nice. <laughs> I, I had to look that up, uh, like, just now, and I'm like, what languages have we not done yet? Yeah, I... I and I, I like the sound of that one. Baiki or Robakak? I used to have a good friend who spoke Polish. Ah, cool. Alright, so you're... Oh, you got you gotta come here to change the accessory? Um, you have to put Shawnee somewhere you can put, so I think we can also do this from our house. Oh, okay. Ah, you can put him in the, uh... You can put him in the, uh... Um... Yeah. On the bed. So we've been using the pretty ribbon, which raises Shawnee's attack from two to three. Yeah. But now we're going to stay at two, two. but with venom. Got it. Oh, and, and it does in fact change color. On I like that. I, I don't like the color with that one actually. Okay, so there is a purpose to not like besides like you know increasing the difficulty, but there is a purpose to like leaving her there. And that's just to, like, to have a quick wardrobe change, I suppose. Yeah. Or if, for whatever reason, you don't want her, if you, like, don't want that advantage. Yeah, exactly. Um, let me use the Bond Berry, so that's going to increase our party's TP by one. Awesome. And I also picked up, uh, just before we started the episode, I picked up a Shock Berry uh -huh. at oh, the yeah. factory here, because we need Shock Candy for that one quest. Also, <laughs> I am a freaking idiot. I didn't start our timer. <laughs> I'm glad I realized that so early. Nah, you're. F yeah, I was gonna say like at the very least, like we started the episode like just now, so it's it's not gonna be like too uh, egregious of a measure. Yeah. How long has it been? Do you guys think like three minutes? Uh, <laughs> give or take. Give or take. <laughs> Look down at the time bar right now and tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um. It says um. I'm just going to take a wild guess here. I'm going to say 3 minutes and 17 seconds. Okay. If, like, uh, you guys in the comments right now, like, tell me how off I was. Um, so I already bought flour right before this. Okay, so, yeah. So let me make with two ingredients. I didn't even really need to come here, but... Oh, you already had a bag of flour, too. Uh, yeah, I bought it in, in prep for this. I could have done this at the microwave in Termite City, but that's okay. Hey, you were already here in Defiant Root. You might as well. Yeah. And hey, you remember the, the end comes. Yeah. I'm, I'm like in the zone right now because I was like doing the prep for this just before you got here. <laughs> uh, so I want this one over here, Termicade. So here's a quick question. I, well, not Termicade. Uh, oh, Termite, Termite City. <laughs> City, yeah. Uh, here's actually a good question for you. What's a video game that um, you absolutely have to be in the zone for like it's one of those situations where it's like you're playing a game and you just get lost in it because you're so Ooh, hyper focused yeah um so this might be a little bit different but i found celeste every once in a while i've wanted to like go back and beat some of the levels of celeste that i've yeah. never been able to but like like right now it's only like chapter eight seaside and farewell mm -hmm. that i still need to do but I can't just go and do those. I, like, need to play the entire game up I, till I there. completely agree because I it's, like... I need to like, ramp up to it. I can't, if you try to do yeah. those levels, like, after a long break, you just, like, don't have that muscle memory anymore. Yeah, it comes back quicker to me every time I attempt it, mm -hmm. but, yeah, I can't do it cold turkey. No, I, I actually completely agree. I felt that same experience playing through uh, Celeste. Um, do you have that shocking thing? Ah, that looks good. I'll try this right when I go to bed. So, will you give us a reward or not? 
Yes, thanks. It's not much, but it might help you. TP plus. Not, I feel like we keep getting... I've noticed that. Yeah. Um, I hope my work efficiency improves after this. Maybe I will finally get that promotion. Heavens, we hope they don't promote you into more work. I'm so worried. <laughs> yeah, um, have a good work-life balance, people. Like, don't overwork yourself, but at the same time, don't just be lazy. Also, somebody told me in the comments to look... In oh, here. yeah, that's right. So I'm going to clean a few things up this episode and I think just start us at the rubber prison. Ah, right. Um, because I don't think I'll have enough things to do to last an entire episode. I think I saw it. Did you see it? It's right be It's right behind the stairs, I think. You were you were on the right track. <laughs> okay. I did not see it, but I yeah, guess I saw my... a slight glimmer of white. Okay, my gut was right. Um, I already did check that. I also looked up the discoveries. We have less... Th there's not as many left for us to find as I thought there would be. Uh-huh. Um, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. And I think two of them we haven't even, like, been to yet. I was gonna say, like, I imagine there's at least a couple of them in past the rubber prison. Yeah, one of them is the rubber prison. Okay, there you go. And the other one, spoilers, is the giant... Oh, I could have bought a shock berry here. Oh, no, that's a numb bomb. No, that's a numb bomb. Um... One of them is the Giant Slayer, which is where we know the Wasp King went. Gotcha. So, minor spoilers. So, yeah, we've actually been pr pretty thorough with this game overall. Apparently, ah. yes, and this is one of the discoveries. Uh, the Colosseum is massive! Even the Anthill Palace does not quite reach this scale. Such a large building just to celebrate fighting. What's wrong with that? Showing off your cool moves is great! I guess it'd depend on how willing the fighters are. That wasn't... I wonder what your thoughts on this building were. Speaking of Elizant, yeah. um, Elizant the First is another discovery on the list I still need to find. I don't understand quite where it is. Could it be that it's the shattered um, window and like we have to wait until it's repaired now? That's entirely possible. Either that or it's like, you know, it's a place we've been to before. And it... Oh, wait a second. Is it the statue? I don't... At, like, in the center of, like, town? No, that's, like, the coloner... That's the right, colony that's right. statue or something. Okay, but we need to talk to this guy. This is the guy who wanted the water striders killed. Yeah, that's right. Isn't he back... Isn't he, though, back at, um... Uh, what's I it called? I He's back he's... in the Ant Kingdom. I believe he is, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna need to use the, uh, Ant uh, Compass again. So going back to, um that topic of, like, games you need to be in the zone for. For yeah. me, it's most roguelikes. Yeah, definitely, like, you need your skills sharp. Yeah, like, for, for me, it's anytime, like, um, I've noticed it especially, like, when playing Dead Cells. Like, because, like, de there's just so much going on in Dead Cells. There's so much going on in the likes of, say, um, um, Hades. Yeah. Like, the, the start of Hades, like, I'm gonna say this much right now, like, no, like, this is not, like, to rag on anyone who, like, you know, loves the game and, like, is proud of, like, going through the challenge, because you should be proud of going through the challenge. Hades is actually way more forgiving than most other roguelikes, I'm just gonna say that right now. Yeah. Oh, I guess this is it. What a masterful painting. It truly captures Ellison's graceful demeanor. Grace, huh? I guess the new queen has more of a power aura. Mm-hmm. Ellison was as kind as they came. Even some monsters would be friendly in her presence. Her voice was soothing, and she saw the future in a bright light. It must have been an honor. I must say, I am envious of you having met her. Aren't you giving the new queen too much of a rough time, though? Of all people to defend her, we didn't expect it to be you. Well, she has a super big reputation to live up to. And a lot of bugs who didn't accept her from the start. A lot of political and social issues forced her hand, too. Which, you could even say, Ellison's passing gave way to. We know. We know things are never as simple as good queen, bad queen. But it's still difficult to accept. We can't pledge loyalty just yet. Just yet, huh? As long as you're willing to keep an open mind, she may surprise you. <sighs> Until then, we have this painting to come back to. Okay, that's legit interesting, actually. Yeah, that was... It I, is interesting, but it makes sense to me that V would take that stance. Mm -hmm, because, like, she, like V was kind of in that same boat of, like, basically just having a bunch of people who didn't really accept her for, like, who she really wanted to be. Yeah. 
So I guess she kind of emphasizes, emphasizes, or empathizes. Yeah. <laughs> empathizes with uh, the current Elizabeth. There's an emphasis on her empathy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like, as I was saying, like, Hades definitely has that, like, aura of, like, challenge that you need to get into, especially in the late game, because once you get past, um, uh, once you get past, um, Elysium, things get really hard. Yeah, I'd say kind of like Celeste is to Rage Platformers, mm -hmm. um, uh, Hades is, like, a game that tries to get you into roguelike. Um, I can actually agree to that. Um, like, it is more accessible, I think, because of the way it slowly mm -hmm. ramps up what you have to do. Hades does something that a lot of roguelikes uh, don't tend to do, like, right out of the gate, and it's really good of it to do this, is it gives you, it makes you have, like, it does progress even if you fail. Like, even if you go, like... Yeah, you're it, always getting something. Yeah, even if you die at the first screen in Hades, you still technically made progress because now you get story bits and, like, um... I guess that's what context. makes it a rogue light instead of a rogue light. For all intents and purposes, yes. Oh! Ah, the Infounders. Indeed. We owe these cozy beds to them. They'll be happy to know that every new owner took care of the inn with equal passion. Say, what do you think that is? How they could work just as hard for something they didn't create? If you ask me, I think it's not about being the founders. They probably shared the same ideals, that's all. You two are getting all sappy. Sounds like nap time. Ugh, <sighs> maybe I am a bit tired. Shall we call it a night? <laughs> that's cute, actually. <laughs> Leaves in, sleeps in own bed next door. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't need a reason to be there anymore, except... Okay, I suppose there is kind of a reason, and, like, I guess maybe to save money on um, healing and getting a honey drop, if you ever needed a reason to grab a honey drop. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I will agree that depend uh, compared to other rogue roguelikes, or even rogue lights yeah. that I have tried before. Um, a house all the way to the right. Hades is... That one. Much more approachable. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's it. I can feel it. You beat them all, haven't you? Yeah, now for the reward. Yeah, so I did defeat ten water striders off screen yeah. as well, like, like I said I would. Sure, sure, here you go. Oh, nice. Another lore book. I already feel much better. Maybe I will sleep well tonight at last. Thank you. I won't forget what you did. Really, Kabu? No comments on the fact that you basically just slaughtered a bunch of striders? I guess not. Okay. Um, okay, so that completes all of the quests that we have in the chamber. Um, and any other discoveries that we need? Or is the last ones over in, um... Uh, over at, uh, Rubber Prison. Oh, I believe there's two more that we... Okay, so there's three more. Two of them we can't get yet. Yeah. Maybe you can help me figure out this one. Okay. Um, because I am a little stumped. So, all I have is a list of discoveries. Yeah. It's the Ant Hill Palace. But, a lot of, like, things online aren't saying, like, where the discovery is, because apparently it's obvious, and, like... It is. The palace is up here, but I can't figure out, like, what I'm supposed to do to proc it. Hmm. That's a very good question, actually. Like, this should be, like, clear as day, but... Try... It should be a question mark appears over our head if there's something to interact with. Yeah, that's actually a really good question. Try the throne? You got these, right? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure even though this is broken, we still got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, he just, like, mentions a few things. Oh, remind me to say later, I have a uh, crack theory. Uh, counting on your team, Snake Mouth, yes. Huh. Yeah. Uh, so the, the, the Ant Hill Palace, right? The Ant Hill Palace. I imagine maybe it's like, hmm, it couldn't be that, could it? Because we can't, we already got it. I don't know, try one of those doors. 
Um, yeah, are you guys gonna let me in? Uh, halt, only palace dwellers are allowed beyond this point. Have a good day. Jeez, I wanted to get mad, but she was, but she was way too polite. <laughs> yeah, what about, what about this side? Yeah. What's her problem? <laughs> she was <laughs> not polite. Cute. Um, I can't believe this. Yeah, the wasps was attacked. Here's a thought. Like, this is just, like, this is just a theory, right? Or yeah. hypothesis. Try going to the inn. To the inn. Like, maybe you need, I, like, a bird's eye view or something. I, I already tried. There's not, like, I can't see out a window in the inn. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, there is a window. But it doesn't Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't quite... It. Yeah, someone in the comments help us out here, because, like, we could probably, yeah. like, come back to this later. Yeah, get in the comments. But, yeah, like, I, I can't for the life of me figure out how to... How to get... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go to your house. Because can't you go uh, up on the roof? That's true. Now go up there. No? Oh, uh, I thought you were onto something. Damn! Well... Worth a shot. I love how there's like a little rook at the top of the anthill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sick. That is actually kind of cute. Well, it, it was a it was a shot. Yeah. Like, I, I tried here. I'm going to start heading to the rubber prison then. Yeah, sounds good. Um, okay, so here's my crack theory. Yeah. Um, so when we play the arcade game Might Knight, yeah. we're playing as a guy in armor. We know it was made... <clears throat> by termites. Yes. Because the termicade is termite owned. Yes. And the mite knight is a termite. Yes. And in the in the past there have been problems between ants and termites before. Yes. Um the enemies in Might Knight are ants, mostly, yes. and also uh, tarantula sorcerers. Yeah. But it's depicting a battle between termites and ants. Yes. Also, the character you play as as Might Knight looks like the um, gladiator who was pictured up uh, in the Colosseum beforehand. So I think that's him who disappeared a long time ago. Also, it looks like Zaryant. I think Zaryant, who is wearing full armor, including a mask, I think he's a termite. Oh! That's my theory. And okay. I think his name is Zaryant to throw us off. Okay. I think he changed his name. Oh, that would be interesting. That is my crack theory. Yo, what if, like, like if, if that is the case, then that's going to be one hell of an angle Elizabeth can use, like, to, like, endear herself to the termites later. Yeah. Oh, or, is that, like, or is that even part of, like, the story of how um, negotiations fell apart? What if he defected from the termite kingdom to side with the Ant Queen. Maybe. And that's why he's not there at the Coliseum anymore. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm liking where this is going. Speaking of where we're going, Rubber Prison. Yeah, I, I like where this is going. And there's our logbook and entry. It's a tire. Oh, that's even funnier than it's a boot. It's a tire. That's cooler than a boot. <laughs> that's basically Halo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We made it. I trust the termites, but I'm gl glad to leave the submarine. Your fears aside, could you tell us a bit more about Rubber Prison? It's new to us. Oh, I know this one. It's the prison where they put all the bad bugs. Things got bad after Ellison went to sleep. So it seems. It's quite the secure facility, yes? The wasps taking over is quite troublesome. Nah, we'll just snoop around and beat them up. That's what we do. <laughs> That's a good plan. Let's go, team. We must clear the way for the others. I kind of like the idea that they're basically just acting as, like, the vanguard. Yeah, because, um, Elizant is amassing her forces in the Ant Kingdom right now. Mm -hmm. You could use V. Oh, yeah, that's even smarter than what I was going to do. Yeah, you were going to, you were going to do, uh, ice, right? Yeah. But it's like, hey, you can fly. <laughs> Uh, did I just lower a platform back there? Looks like I did. Right. Can I just... Oh, no, oh, you're, you're no, just, you're was... just uh, opening the gate. Okay, I misread it. I thought the chain moved. Nah, you're fine. Do, do you... Will this uh, proc bug me not? No, they, okay. they are... They will give you experience. Okay. 
Um... I am actually happy to hear this music again, because yeah. I like this music a lot. Yeah, I'm never going to complain about hearing this one. I think I messed up that. Oh, no, it's because of their two armor. Yeah, they have... They ha they are beefy boys. Do I not have antlion jaw? No, I do. No, you do. They're, um, they're, again, two armor. That's quite a... That's more than your usual thing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do an ice fall... Shawnee might be able to poison with that freeze. Okay, never mind. Okay. I guess, like, uh... Oof. I guess, like, um... The poison is, like, a chance. Yeah. Yeah, it's chance of poison, I guess, with every hit. Mm-hmm. Relay to V. I think. Because I don't know if, uh... I don't know if... Leaf can yeah. damage these guys. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, sorry, I forgot how to relay. I haven't no, done it in so you're, long. No, you're good. You're good, bro. We haven't had to relay as much lately. Mm -hmm. Get I, in like there, Shawnee. The, I like how the leg flails his like. Ah, no! <laughs> okay, I see. If they twirl their weapon, they're going to like go with a swing. But if they point it forward, they'll charge. They'll just charge. Okay. It's alright, you got this. Especially because if I recall correctly, we actually have, like... We actually probably, like, have, uh, enough experience that we're probably gonna ping soon. Nice! Um, I'm gonna do a secret stash. Because I, I, I have a turn now to react. That's true. Oh. oh! Poison Bite? It costs TP. I can oh, change... you can change ribbons! I can change ribbons on the fly. Oh my god, that's so much better! Okay, it costs a turn. That's so much better. Dude, now we have a reason to get all the ribbons. Game changer. That's really cool! Oh my goodness! Alright, I'm gonna have to go back to the Termicade. Holy crap! <laughs> I love it! I... That's sick! Yeah. Like, suddenly, like, there's a whole meta around Shawnee. Yeah, that's so much better than I thought it was. Yeah, and, like, with the armor, you, with with people with more armor, you can go to the pretty yeah. ribbon. But it's, like, zero armor? Okay, let's go for Poison Bite. Yeah. Oh, cool! I like it! Yeah, I, I guess... I do like it! I guess you just gotta be prepared to, like, spend a turn changing it. Uh, the prison's gates are all controlled by the gray switches. Please ask management for access to prevent getting trapped inside. I wonder Can if you dig under that? I don't think so. Worth a shot. Can I... Okay. No. <clears throat> I wonder who, like, manages the rubber prison. How much you want to bet at Zarian? That would be pretty rad. <laughs> But, like, he's by the queen's side all the time. True. Okay, so that's a way back for us. Um, talk to management? Hmm. There's a crack in the wall here, but I don't think that has to do with it. I see something like... No, there's gotta be a way. All prison gates are going Oh, I get it. I get oh, yep, it. So I, I have to too. hit this switch down here and go back. Yep. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, like... I, I was, like, going to think, like, you could, like, use the, uh, use the beamerang. Oh, that would make sense, too. But this, no, honestly, this is another way to do it, so... Um, uh, no, I was wrong. No, 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 like, now now you can go back uh, across the bridge. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you're supposed to use the Beamerang. Okay. Yeah. 
Now that we have the flight ability, it's a little tricky, like, holding a boomerang shot. Yeah, but now you gotta, you gotta, like, press, like, you press it and then hold it okay. afterwards, right? Yeah. I see. All right, I'm, I'm on to you, game. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We got a map here. And we got, uh, Vega B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm never gonna get, a, I'm never gonna get over how funny M. Beeson was. Yeah, that's, that's going on the... That's going on the highlights. Oh, heck yeah. I'm really happy you decided to do a highlights out of yeah. this one. Because, like, man, that was fun. <laughs> and if I say it out loud during a Let's Play, I will feel like I have to do it. So <laughs> I, I can hold myself accountable. Nah, he has increased defenses because he's holding up a shield yeah. now. Uh, relay, relay, relay. Yeah, that pops him out of shield, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. I thought Ooh, he was gonna, that like... Does, that does damage. I didn't think it would be a range attack. I thought he was gonna charge forward. That's what I was... That's what I thought, too. Alright. Um... Alright, and are you gonna shield again? Yeah. Ah. I just did that for the heck of it. Nice. Pop. Boopity boopity boop. Yeah, we're getting we're getting there. Mm-hmm. So in light of some other questions, here's a here's another one for you. What's a game that what, what's a game that, like, you've played that, for some reason, other people have a much easier time with that you've always just had trouble with? Oh, that's a good question, too. I know one off the top of my head. Okay, um, for yeah, me, shoot. For me, it was Darkest Dungeon. Which oh, I know, yeah. like, I know for a fact is supposed to be hard, but, like, after seeing you and, like, uh... Well, v, I am an expert Darkest Dungeon player. Uh, honestly, you're pretty good at it. I still haven't played Darkest Dungeon 2. I gotta get on that. There you go. Hey. Okay, I'll do it this way. What am I... Well, check that door up there. No, Cause... it needs a key card. Which I don't have. I guess the platinum card doesn't quite count. No, check the I other sign. It. Oh, can I read the sign? No, not that sign. The, the sign next to the door. Yeah, explorers and visitors do not lose your permit. Otherwise, you must assume we must assume you are a prisoner. Have a good day. Weird. Hmm. I can't be getting stuck this early. There has to be like a simple <laughs> solution to this. Um. Let me let's see that map actually for a moment, cause. Okay, so so we're the we're the little yellow hexagon there. That's about where we are. Oh, I see. Like, there's different like switches. Yeah. Like that's the location of the switches. It says that there's like a way that way, like to the left. Yeah, it says there. There is. Why can't I see it? Oh, goodness. So, this might be a bit tricky. You want to take a moment to figure this out? Yeah, hold tight, everyone. Wait a minute. I oh, wait a second. Only authorized ant personnel allowed. Please provide ID. I have an explorer permit. Are you I am kidding so me? stupid. Dude, like, I, I wouldn't have figured that out. It was out. just the... It, it was just the same permit we've had this entire game. Oh my god, I can't believe it was that simple. Okay, so... Well then. Where the fuck are you doing? <laughs> where, where the fuck am I going? <laughs> okay. Um, so, a game that, like, just seems to come easier to people, um... 
I mean, right now I'm playing CrossCode, and I can't shake the feeling that, like, other people may have picked it up faster than I am picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still need to get around to playing CrossCode myself, actually. And I get a lot of, like, well, didn't you see? It was saying, like, the shields are up. And I was like, I don't know how you're looking at everything at once. Um, really? To Kabu to knock him down again? Yeah. Um... One that's really, really obvious for me personally, but that's also because I, I think this applies to a lot of people, is most fighting games. Oh yeah, I'm not good at any... I mean, I at least understand how I'm bad at fighting games, and I know a lot of pe other people are too. Yeah. No, fi fighting games are hard, man. Yeah. Like, that's... I really appreciate fighting games. I wouldn't say I like playing them. No, I can understand that. And again, I think that applies to a lot of people because, like, the skill ceiling or the skill floor for, like, uh, fighting games in particular is pretty... Ouch. Okay, so we can probably... We can probably go over and hit that switch. Oh, we also have... Uh... Air drafts going that way. Can you dig on? Can you dig under those like spikes? I don't think so because they're coming up through the floor. True. Okay. Then I guess I I think my play is to try and oh my gosh, is to try and move, uh, fly to one of these platforms. Yeah, you got you got to hit that switch over there somehow. Oh, yeah, you can make that. That's easy. Okay, so what did that change for me? Um, something tells me it, like, opened up that... Yep, there you go. Oh, we got a spring. And a key. Cool. Um, where are you taking me with the spring? Uh, up. Can you even land on those? No, I thought for a second it was prompting me to jump across the cages. Like, what has me baffled is, like, what do you need the... It, it, like, if you can get the key that easily, what do you need the air current Yeah, for? I don't... I guess that's just, like, if you get stuck and need to get back, but I don't mm. know how you would get stuck. Th th this, this place is confusing us more so than it reasonably should. Yeah, there's, like... <laughs> so far, the solutions are, like, too simple. <laughs> so simple, in fact, that the first one stumped us for God knows how yeah. long. Yeah. Okay, Ga cafeteria and Giant Slayer Bridge. Right, because this is the path to Giant Slayer. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy here. Yeah, you can't get under there. Oh, 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 oh. he's oh, he's an enemy. Bad guy. Oh yeah, that's right. Like, what did V say? Like, these are bad guys. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought like he'd be kind of cool with us like coming in and potentially breaking him out or something, but. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Ruffians. Hm. So the wasps have become so desperate as to employ even criminals. I wouldn't say they're employed, they were in a cage. His character may be poor, but his strength is considerable. Stay sharp. 16 HP. That's not that's nothing to sneeze at, actually. Yeah. Um, you may want to start using some TP on these guys. I think you're right. So, let's do... Okay, I did re-equip. Didn't we get a new, cool new skill with, like, Leaf? Oh yeah, Frost Re Oh yeah, we showed that off a lot, like, a little bit ago. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do... Piercing, yes. Okay. Uh, press A when the cursor is at the right spot. That's a little disappointing damage-wise, but I'll take it. Nice. And once again, it's the exact one I don't want, but... Well, if you want, you can, like, change uh, ribbons. Ooh. Yeah, these guys have two, um, two yeah. actions. Yeah, sp speaking of Darkest Dungeon, we got the abominations here. <laughs> Say, like, that's actually uh, that's actually something I never actually figured out with you. Who is your favorite class in Darkest Dungeon? Um, 
I definitely had an answer to this, and it's escaping me right now. Is it Houndmaster? I can see it being Houndmaster. J just, just knowing yeah. you and your affinity for dogs. Or it might, it might just be Highwayman. I mean, Highwayman is just good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do fly drop. Nice. <laughs> I was having trouble trouble for a second there. All right, and Shawnee should be able to take it out. Yeah. I love I love how. Oh my gosh. I want to say the arbalist is underappreciated. Nobody Owie. likes the arbalist. I want to like the arbalist, but I don't think the arbalist has enough in her arsenal to really like stand out amongst the crowd. Like her her gimmick is kind of a yeah. What's it called? It is kind of a like. I don't know. It, it's it's very situational because you need enemies that are far away. Yeah, which makes her really, really good against, like, you know, um, what's it called? The enemies uh, that are, like, in the back row that cause stress and everything. But if I may be so bold in saying, that's what uh, Hellion is for with Iron Swan. Yeah. <laughs> or the, uh, or the Plague Doctor is for with, uh, with her, uh, with her, uh, grenades. Oh, I do really like Plague Doctor. Oh, oh, there's a delay on that. You managed to block it, though. Yeah, between uh, Shawnee and uh, Leak, you got this. Yep, get in there, Shawnee. Is it just me, or does it look like their heads come off? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, their heads seem almost detached from the rest of them. Hit the switch. Oh, yeah. Well, that did something. Yeah, I don't know what I'm switching yet, but... Um, I saw... Oh, no, I trapped Venus. <laughs> I trapped the Venus bud. All right. I'm gonna well, at least Venus is there. Yeah. Uh... Oh, okay. these guys got bandits with them, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I guess they have, a uh, hired help. <laughs> uh, dash through. Wabba! Yeah, good idea. Well, at least the bandit's frozen. Yeah, I'll take that. Switch ribbons. You're not going to be able to damage um, this guy with uh, with the poison ribbon. Put on a pretty ribbon. Pretty ribbon. <laughs> Fascinating. Stays within you. Dancing. Pretty ribbon. <laughs> if I recall correctly, that wasn't in the original musical, was it? It was. That's an original song, yeah. Oh, okay. If I recall correctly, like there was a, I don't know. I think the movie had like a song that wasn't in the original in the original movie. I think that's or true. The original like musical. I think that's true, but I don't know what it is because I really I saw the movie once. It's not my favorite, so I haven't seen it a lot. We're talking about Sweeney Todd for those of you who have no idea <laughs> what we're talking about. Um, Sweeney Todd, which is one of my favorite musicals. Yes. You you no. tend to like anything written by Stephen Sondheim. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big Sondheim fan. Um, nothing against the movie. It's actually pretty good. The, I'm, the movie's I'm all right. I'm just a purist. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, that, that, that's understandable. I just like it so much that the little, like, liberties that the movie takes, I don't like as much. Hey, like, if anything else, the movie's at least better than what they did with Les Mis and Rob. Yeah, it's better than um, the movie version of Les Mis, better than the movie version of Cats, though I'm not a big fan of Cats to begin with. Eh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, Cats isn't all that, like, it isn't a high bar. But the movie is worse. Yeah. Um, but that's a whole... 
that's a whole tirade I don't think anybody wants to hear me get into. Oh no, please, enlighten us. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, what's his name? Hooper. I'm, I'm blanking on his first name right now, but he's the same guy who directed the Les Miserables movie, and then for some reason they thought to give him another musical to direct after that, which is astounding. Right. Um... Okay, only one guy. So he directed Cats. And the thing is, I think he hates musicals. <laughs> I feel the way about Hooper the same way I feel about Zack Snyder doing super he superhero Super movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even worse, actually, because Zack Snyder, I think, like, Watchmen is a great movie. Um, just the things that Zack Snyder... The things that make Watchmen great are things that make me not like him doing Superman or Batman, because, like, Zack Snyder doesn't believe that people can really be that good, that they would be altruists like Superman. But, right. yeah, um, Les Miserables and Cats, like, does everything it can to not be a musical. Um, do you want to go to Metal Points? Yeah. Yeah, we can arrange uh, the, the medals later. Unless you want to do something now. Um, I'll do something really quick. Uh, I'll, I'll throw something in there. I'll TP throw plus. TP plus. Yeah, we can figure it out later. Um, okay, and I think we want that I rock. See. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I get it now. Uh, Les Miserables did this, the movie... Uh, had an experiment that didn't work out. I completely so, agree. So they they wanted to do all the songs where you're actually hearing the audience. Normally, any kind of musical performance on film mm -hmm. is going to actually be lip sung. The actual singing is done in a studio. Yeah. Because obviously. Yeah. On on a full stage, the acoustics aren't going to be what you want for a song. Oh, I see. Um, fly into the cage and then fly past that. Yeah. Um. That didn't work out. Les Mis sounds really bad. Yeah. Just from a, like, sound editing standpoint. It's not just a sound editing either. They employed, um, techniques, um, in the movie that only really worked for a stage. Yeah. And the thing is, like, if you're going to, if you're going to, like, you know, adapt a musical to a movie, make it a movie! Yeah. So, like, like there are changes in Sweeney Todd, but I'm like, I get it. They did this change... Because it's a movie, and there's yeah. new... This is a new medium. Mm -hmm. um, they make changes in Les Miserables that make it sound worse, and they don't make the changes that, like, it needs to to be a movie. I completely agree, because it's like, again... Like that, because that's they're whole... like, we really want it to look like everybody singing on stage and do, like, how it sounds when they're singing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it just didn't work for me. Like, I, 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 I understand, like, the idea of, like, maybe... I understand the idea of, like, you know, going out of your way to make the movie... Oh my gosh, it's set in Pisky! Oh my god, it is! That's so funny! We threw them <laughs> in jail! <laughs> That's great. But anyway, yeah, I, like, I understand the whole idea of, like, oh yeah, like, you want to be a little bit purist and, like, you know, make the musical, like, come to life in the movie setting, but if you're going to adapt it to a movie, you're making a movie, guys. Yeah. Like, come on. I can at least appreciate, like, okay, it was an experiment that didn't pay off. Mm -hmm. And against my better judgment, I'm going to go talk to Sen and Pisky. Uh, who did who? Um, I don't remember. I'll no, you did this guy, yeah. yeah. You put us here, so don't expect us to be happy to see you. Look, we're just waiting for we're just waiting for this to blow over. Let us be. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to rematch them or something. Ah, we're fine. Um, but I was gonna say, like, adaptations only really truly work if you actually put in the work and use the techniques that are established, like yeah. to be able to adapt them to that media. That's the whole point of like, you know, adaptations. Otherwise you get Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, like huh, yeah, which <laughs> wants to be a movie so bad. But exactly. It's a video game. Yeah, I'm on board board with that. Oh, hey. My, sen oh, Go ahead. Yeah. My sentence is over in two days. No way I'm escaping now. Go away. A history book. A red book found in the rubber prison. It says, although it hasn't been found, many explore looking for it in the name of the Ant Queen. I guess that's referring to the Everlasting Sapling. I'm assuming so, yeah. Um, nice of this guy to be like, you know what? My, sen my sentencing is over in two days. I might as well just wait it out. 
Now, I think with cats, they were a little bit ashamed of the source material, which, you know, fair, it is cats. It, it's cats. But if you're ashamed of the source material, I don't know why you're adapting it. Exactly. Um, the reason why I say I think it's ashamed of the source material is cats as a musical is very avant-garde. Yes. Um, things do not really make coherent sense. It's based on a bunch of T.S. Eliot poems, which he probably wrote while high on opium. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's one way to put it. Uh, when will someone fix the third floor bridge? That thing looks like it could break down at any moment. Uh, oh, yeah, the jacks are here as, like, ramparts. Yeah, ramparts. Yeah, I was actually going to comment on that, too. Like, I, saw, I noticed it during the battle screens. Now, did I manage to... Yes, I got V in front. Oh, I see. Clever. Yeah, because I wanted to get V's double attack. Because V will do the most damage. I'm very happy about that. Nice. So on the flip side, um, heh, <laughs> flip. Um, <laughs> what are movie adaptations of musicals that you actually think are good? Um, it's funny, we were talking about this, like, hours before your wedding. <laughs> A little while ago, uh, with Joe. Oh, that's. Oh yeah, that's right. I think I remember. I think I remember that. Um, so I am stealing this one from you. You were the one who said it. Yeah. Uh, but um, the guys and dolls with Fred Astaire and. Um, uh oh yeah, um, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. I actually agree. Well, but I, again, I yeah, said it. Yeah, you were the one who <laughs> said it first. I'm stealing your opinion. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, no, I actually really like the Guys and Dolls movie adaptation. It's like, it's hokey as hell, because it's like, it, it has all the tramp, all the trappings of, like, you know, movies that were directed during that era, yeah. but it's still good. If Guys and Dolls, this goes for any modern production that, like, your high schools may be doing or something. Yeah. Audience at home. If Guys and Dolls isn't hokey, you're doing it wrong. Yes. Yes. And I, I think that's, like... Nice. I think that's actually part of the reason why, like, I like it so much is because of the fact that, like, yeah, they knew it was a hokey musical, so they, like, you know, they directed it in such a way that, yeah, it kind of fits the theming. Yeah. Um, another one for me personally, um, is Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, Fiddler on the Roof is the best answer, actually. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I love the movie adaptation of Fiddler on the Roof. That's one where the movie version might actually be the best version of it. Really? I think so. I... So, famously, the first person to play Tevia was, um, was, uh, Z Zero Mostel. Yes. Um, who was a New York Jew, very good in the role, he's very funny, he's also in a funny thing happened on the way to the forum and stuff like that. Yes, yes. Um, the, the dude is very talented. They get, uh, Topol, who is a Eastern European Jewish actor to play Tevye in the movie, uh -huh. and is very, very authentic, and he is very talented and more believable. Because, like, <laughs> when... When Zero Mostel does it, it has more of the, um... It's got, like, a New York kind of sound to it. Okay. Which, which is fine, it's funny. But it's got a little bit of a, like, hey, I'm walking here. What do you, like... I, I get that. I oh, get I'm that. a Jewish person in New York. Woody Allen. Um, yeah, he has a key. But yeah, no, I get that. Um, yeah, like, if, if whenever I think of, like, Fiddler on the Roof and the character Rev Tebye, um, I usually refer to what he looks like in the movie. Because, yeah. goodness gracious, does he look great in the movie. Yeah, that's Topol, who I think is the best actor to play that role. Mm -hmm. No, he did an amazing job. Um, you have some skills. You got, you yeah. got points for it. I'm just going to blow a bunch of points right here because I have so many. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Can you abstain? I guess not. Well, you can damage someone. If I at least wait with this. long enough, will I? <laughs> no, press the button. At least you can damage a little bit there. Yeah. You probably should have gone for the bad guy in the back. Oh, uh, you're right. Oh well. I would have had to break this guy out anyway, or like. Yeah, I don't know. I never know. I never know with these things. <laughs> I just press the buttons. <laughs> Yeah, Leaf, like, is really good, like, for, like, status effects and whatnot. He does- he's lacking in power compared to the other two. Yeah. 
Um, but to get back to cats... Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, they try to... That's okay. I, I liked everything we've been talking about today. <laughs> um, you're, you're, a mus you're the musical guy, dude, yeah, so, this like, is... totally I understand. Oh, I haven't talked about it yet, but I went. I got to see Hades Town on Broadway. A oh yeah, ago. that's right. It you was were telling so me about good. It. Really, really, really cool. I'm not a person way. who's seen a lot of Broadway shows because I don't have that kind of money, but it was so good. Shit. Um, Understrike with um Kabu. Lovely. Um, yeah, so, like, Cats is very avant-garde, mm -hmm. and it's weird, but, like, it is what it is. Yeah. And Cats, the movie, tries to give it more story, tries to make it more narrative. Uh-huh. It gives it, like, this weird, useless, like, third act action scene. Really? Yeah, it has, like... It has, like, an action climax. It's really bizarre. Cats has an action climax. Yeah, they, like, have to go, like, stop, um... Mr. Mistopheles. Right. And there's, like, a hot air balloon and stuff. I think Mr. Mistopheles, like, kidnaps some of the other cats. It's super weird. Interesting. I never actually watched the movie Cats, but, like, you yeah. know, I, I didn't need to really watch it to know that it was not going to be all that good. Um, Take that for what you will, mind you. <laughs> Don't fall off the bridge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you... Oh. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, it just... And there's a lot of, like, visuals that are just nightmare fuel. I'm I was sure going to say, like, what, what, what's the term for it? Um, like... Uncanny Valley? Uncanny Valley, that's yeah. it. Yeah, it, it it just did not look good. Like, Idris Elba. Yeah. God bless that man. Mm -hmm. He is an incredibly oh. charismatic actor. Oh, absolutely. He is Mr. Mistopheles, and he is a black cat. But he's not black like a black cat is black. They, like, give him a, like, skin tone. Like, they match his skin tone with his fur. Which, oh, like, makes him oh, look naked oh, and hairless. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that does not sound good at all. And like, you got Rebel Wilson, and there, there's a lot of parts where like Rebel Wilson and um, is it James Corbin? Or... I honestly couldn't tell you. I, I'm sure honest. someone in the comments could. But but there's like a lot of like back chatter from other characters uh -huh. that like makes it seem like they're bored with the scenes that they're telling. Yeah. They had to, like, she weren't in a bunch of jokes. And then, like, Judy Dench sings a song that's three and a half minutes long, but the camera holds on her the entire time Ooh. while she's singing Why a Cat is Not a Dog. Speaking of three minutes long, how are we on time? I think we're about done. I was kind of, I was kind of, <laughs> dude, like, I was kind of vamping at the end there. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's actually kind of awesome, like, hearing, like, hearing these kinds of things, because it's like, you get passionate when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yeah, thank you for humoring me there. Oh, no, dude, by all means, like, this is this is why we have these conversations. All right, so um, thank you guys for joining us for uh, this sort of confusing episode of uh, Let's Play Bug Fables because goodness gracious, this this rubber prison is a lot. Yeah, we we're, we're getting there though. How is a circle so confusing? Yeah, this is the most confusing circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's so simple and yet we can't figure it out. Okay, here here I got something for you. Next time on the uh, comic. Comic Plays Bug Fables. Top 10 most confusing circles in video games. <laughs> number number 5 is the rubber prison. Yeah. Suggestions in the comments for the other four. I'm, Go for I'm it. I'm sure we'll get them.